of Gadsden's had a long-running partnership with Gadsden State with the youth fields, soccer field, quad pod over the years. About three years ago, we saw the mayor, the council, and myself saw an opportunity for a potential economic development project that would benefit the community, the college, and riverfront development. We went to Dr. Martha Lavender at the time, the mayor did, and worked with her on securing the lease from the state to expand the property that you see behind you and where we're at now, where the fish ponds used to be. That wasn't being used, so we felt like an up-to-date, high-quality sports park would benefit all. But what a beautiful place this is. And I want to say to the mayor, to the city council, to all of those that's been involved, kudos to you. I think today is a perfect example of what we can do and accomplish together. And so we really appreciate you coming out and supporting us. I'm excited, really excited about uh, what we've started here. And Dr. Murphy couldn't have been more appropriate in her utilization of the term dream, because it's important to be able to dream things like this for them to happen. I traveled all over this place when my kids were little playing soccer. So I know you go to these small towns and they have nice uh, soccer fields. So I'm so glad that we have this. I think we've been dreaming about this for a long time. Our son, Alan, is 37 years old and uh, 35 years ago, he was y'all's age and or thereabouts. And he played soccer in these very fields over here with all the rocks and the holes and the things. And we go to other cities and play on fields like this. And I would always be jealous. Well, now I'm not jealous. Now they're jealous of Gaston. All of a sudden, we have a partnership with Gaston State, Dr. Moore. And it turned out to be that we went back and somebody said money. And I said, there ain't no way, not this much money. Lisa found the money. And I've been convinced this is one of the greatest things that's happened to Gaz as far as I'm concerned. Even though I doubt it, now you can see it. You know, we've got teams already coming from first weekend, uh, Fairhope, Daphne area, coming on a Friday, staying till Sunday. So there's that's 18 people, 20 with coaches, hotel rooms that we're gonna be associated feeling for you. You know, um, and so, and Scott and some of the guys with the city have already seen our schedule. I mean, we're packed out every weekend of people traveling here to play soccer. So I, I saw even how, you know, sometimes the guys and things get spun negatively. You've hit a home run here just because of the need more than anything. And like I said, it's never gonna be not uncovered, you know, once we get access to be out here. Over the last several few years anyway, we've been noticing how bigger soccer is getting and getting and getting. And so that's when we sort of got our heads together and talked about what we wanted to try to do and talked to Dr. Murphy and everybody. Everybody seemed to be on board the council. So that's what we're doing. This is going to be a really big, big thing. I really, really do believe that. So thank you for being here. And I appreciate all the folks who have worked with us, all the folks who work here behind, that are behind me in the city. Got some really smart people. And I learned a long time ago when I was in the real estate business, if you don't know everything, hook up with somebody who does know everything. And that's good for you. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for being here and look forward to seeing you on the field here pretty soon. Okay, thank you.